Greetings, ladies and gentle readers. I'm Dwyer, and I just finished reading Dawn of the Density God, Book One, a lit RPG magical cultivation adventure. And right off the bat, I have to say that there was a lot that was pretty nice about this book, and there were a few things that weren't. So let's just talk about what it is first, and then we can talk about those things here. Uh, right away, does it say? I think it says in the description a uh, little bit, little bit. Kind of does, kind of doesn't. One of the things that was really good about this book is that I liked that the author created their own world for the story that they were telling in it. The story is essentially just, you know, a kid who gets uh, a nice lucky happenstance that allows him to, you know, get stronger, yada, yada, yada. It's a story that we've heard before. So how is Tora AKR? I have to admit kind of annoys me when it, it's it's kind of annoying me lately when we've got like an AI generated face with uh, a random name to kind of like to hide the author's identity nowadays. But twice to say, yeah, what's interesting is how whoever this person is, uh, they took a world and that world, they changed it up a little bit. Like the world's gonna have three suns. I think it's three suns. Was it three suns and two moons? Ah, oh, crap. I forgot the exacts. Either way, multiple moons, multiple suns. Interesting. The world's not judged by years so much, but by seasons. Cool. Interesting. There's like calm seasons and then like stormy seasons, sort of. That's kind of cool. Reminded me of, what was it? Uh, the Way of Kings. Reminded the Way of Kings. And I wonder if maybe that's where the author got that idea from a little bit. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Either way, it made for an interesting world. I wanted to know more about it. Now, the very next thing both caught my attention and then lost it later. They introduce a very strict world where everyone has like a tier system. You don't like fight above your tier. You die. The book set really strict kind of rules in place for how things interact for how the world works, for the dangers that are in the world, to really get the reader a sense of what's going on, give uh, the reader a sense of what to expect, the dangers that can be kind of thrown at the characters over the course of the novel, gave them an idea of where you want to kind of root for the character to get to because of this tiered system, all, all that great stuff. More on that later. So right off the bat, we have a unique world, cool. Uh, some unique ways on how the world works, cool. We have a nice system that seems to be thought up on how everything interacts, cool. We seem to have uh, consequences that prop up as a result of these things, cool. So I like all of these things that were coming together. It was like, yes, this is actually doing really, really nice. And uh, when I went ahead and bought the book, stayed up to read it. So way long, way later than I should have to read it. Unfortunately, it does let you down a little bit. A lot of that like strict structure goes right out the window around the 50% mark. We did start getting into just absolute. And the name of the book should have probably told you because he's becoming a god. But it's not like cradle or something or iron prince where the main character is getting like godlike status over the course of a long adventure so you can know more about them what makes them tick see the struggles that they're going on to get to wherever they're trying to get to instead it's just like all right 50 percent in the book we're in a training montage and bam you get this skill and this skill and this skill and this skill is upgrading to its maximum and this skill is upgrading to its maximum. And it's just wish fulfillment just thrown at you all day. Unfortunate. Uh, the ending regretfully was also pretty weak. Throughout the book, you try to have like this interlude of another character that you don't have any reason to care about. Uh, something happens to them. And you don't really care about that either. And the main character is going to interact with them in a meaningful way at the end. 
but all of that is like immediately over and done so you don't really care about that either so the ending falls flat the the beginning was good the middle into the end just felt kind of rushed like uh, the like the author whoever tora acker is just couldn't resist just advancing the plot as fast as humanly possible even if what's being advanced isn't earned in any way and that just rips you straight out of the novel. Uh, 1,500 books from the first, or 1,500 five stars from the first part of the book, sure. Two stars for the ending. Middle to end, two stars at best. It just completely lost all of the goodwill uh, the first part of it brought up. And that was, that was really unfortunate. Because I start the book off wanting to know more about this empire and like the beasts that are constantly attacking it. I wanted to know more about this weird religion that is like worshipping the system. Because, you know, let RPG elements. That's like worshipping the system and how that's going to like be a thing. I wanted to know... Actually, okay, I wanted to know more about a noble individual who pops into the main character's life, but I didn't want to be told. I did not want to be told. I wanted that to be more of like an Ethan kind of thing, like you had from Cradle, where you're kind of like wondering what this dude's backstory is, what's going on here. Instead, we kind of like have a POV shift where a lot of answers are just like handed to the, to the reader. That's kind of like, oh, did you have to do that? I was really hoping to learn more about this over the next couple, next book or two or something, you know? And instead it's just like, and here's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it's just like, I don't care anymore. That was, compl that was a completely unearned reveal. I don't care anymore. Um, slow burn. I mean, it's kind of a slow burn, but like I said, in the mid, uh, middle of the book, it's just like, boom. There's all your answers. And then boom, here's like insane wish fulfillment progression. So is it really slow burn? It isn't that not a lot happens, but it's not that great. And then uh, last 75%, sorry, last 75% of the book, so you know, read it on Kindle. Uh, there's a lot of random fights, but at this point you don't care because the main character is literally just like making up skills as they want. As, like, as literally as fast as the author can just like throw random skills at him. And you just don't care about what he's doing after at next because nothing led up to this. If he tried to have like some avatar moment where he like spends a book mastering like an element or something, that would be one thing. But over the course of literally, literally one chapter to master every element in the world, I don't care. I, I, I'm done with it. I, I just don't care. So, uh, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. So, I, I, don't, I don't know what to rate it. I don't know what to rate it. Maybe a three. Maybe a three. I might check out the first 25% of the next book uh, when it comes out. That way I can get through it fast and then maybe return it if it turns out to be more of the last half of this book and not more of the beginning of the early one. Because, yeah, this... This was unfortunate, had a lot of potential. It looked like the author was like really hitting that potential and then just undid it in like the Thanos snap of his fingers. So I hope he can kind of tap into what made his early part of the first book really, really good and really lean into that for the second book. Because then, sure, sure, you'd have like half of a good first book one and then... An unfortunate, b b annoying half of book, uh, book one. But if he can, you know, recover it with book two, then all's forgiven. Then all's forgiven, and I would like recommend this to a lot of people. Right now, uh, I'll give the guy a follow here, but cautiously, cautiously. Either way, if you want to read this, uh, yeah, it might be interesting. I don't know. But I'd probably wait to the second one to see where it goes. Where it goes. 
Either way, that's to be my review for Dawn of the Density God, book one. This came out in October. Hopefully about a year or so we'll get book two and then we'll see what's what. Till then, happy reading. I'll see you next time.